just about to set the static timing the pulley's now rotated to 12 degrees before top dead centre there's a mark here on the pulley the engine rotates clockwise if you're facing this pulley so top dead centre is marked here this position here is 12 degrees before top dead centre which is the correct setting for this high compression engine and I've lined that with the mark here on the timing gear case so once you've done that I have to rotate the distributor to the point at which the contacts are just about to open and to do that some people use a light bulb but I've used a multimeter to measure the change in resistance once the contacts open so if I rotate the distributor it's about the point there at which these contacts are opening around about there. So now that's set I can run the engine and I can check dynamically the timing with my strobe which will be more accurate because there's always a bit of lost motion or backlash in the mechanisms. <laughs> 